and hold it out from underneath there, went down and got that new gas tank. It was out of the junkyard, but it was like brand new. Brought right. it up in here, it was different. And you're so not talking Saturday here. morning, went into, John, into uh, the Andrews where I got it. I told them I needed another gas tank. I said, the one you gave me is the wrong one. So they took one out from an old service truck that had been they, the transmission gave out of one. It was the same, same identical gas tank. So Saturday, Jim <coughs> took me in and we picked it up and brought it home. And I put it in. <coughs> it was in there and my fuel gauge doesn't work. So I thought, well, maybe for me trying to jiggle it up in there, it came unplugged. So I thought, well, I'll wait until later on and drop it down sometime. Well, I think it was three days later, I was smelling gas again. I hear the line going to the fuel pump, right where it was factory made, it was dripping right out of there. It was turned the fuel pump on, and it was be spraying out. So I dropped the gas tank again. I checked all the wires and everything, fixed that line, put a whole new line yeah, on it. So I was able to push it into the rubber part and recrimp it. Put it all back up in. I don't have any gas leak, but my fuel gauge still don't work. Make a long story short. I stopped and talked Sorry. to a buddy of mine, and he said, sound mm -hmm. like the sending unit gave out. And I said, well, what would you that? He said, just a coincidence. So I have to set my trip meter and hope for the best that I don't run out of gas. But I don't know if I can replace just the sending in or if I have to replace the whole fuel pump. If I have to replace the whole fuel pump, I'm just going to keep guessing at my gas mileage. <laughs> my gas 